All right, everybody, time for another edition of World Championship Wrestling 2002 as we continue the road to Halloween Havoc. As the second week of October, and it's time for Monday Night Crow, so let's get going. Um, so we start with a six-man match to get some people on the show who don't have wrestling this week. So um, in this match, we got Dustin Rhodes, AJ Styles, and Conan going over Lance Storm, Jin Dragon, and Stasiak in 1503 when Conan made Lance Storm submit with the Ziploc. So 72 B-, minus, not too bad. Just a perfectly solid match. Lance Storm's getting 76s because he's really good, so there you go. Um, so we start off with a basically a quick promo where basically um, Bischoff is, you know, in his office. When Piero comes in, he wants to know his opponent for the U.S. title match. Bischoff is like, well, too bad. You know, you, I'll have your opponent at match time. When Piero's like, you're going to pay for this sooner or later. Bischoff's like, come on, I faced the NWO and Hogan and Stay. You don't scare me, buddy. 82B. Not too bad. Uh, then we got our opening match where we have Morningstar defeating Jamie Noble, Blitzkrieg, and Elix Skipper in 702 when Morningstar pinned Jamie Noble with the last rights. Um, solid thing. Morningstar is up to a 53. Uh, and we got a 56C minus. Then afterwards we have a promo where Morningstar cuts a promo on Jet saying, you know, he's been given a quest by Vampiro to take the Cruiserweight title off of him. And it's only fitting that it, it'll be a Halloween Havoc when the Deadpool, you know, adds another name to its list. And then we have Mor Mil Miller and Smiley doing an in-ring promo. You can talk about they've been stuck on Saturday night. When all of a sudden, the WCW rip off of Iron Man hits, and out comes the Road Warriors making the return after Animal has been gone for a few months because of, well, no, it's been Hawk. Has been gone for a few months due to issues, so 43D. Let's see how they do in the ring. And in the actual ring, we have the Road Warriors going over Miller and Smiley in 425 when Animal pin Miller a pinfold to Doomsday Device. Um, so, you know, 56C minus, so nothing terrible. Um, and then, you know, basically after that, we go back to stage where Paige, Wright, and Ray Jr. cut a promo about their main event tonight against the Horsemen, you know, saying, you know, things are just beginning with Horsemen. They're not going to be, you know, happy till they win the World Tag Titles off Jared and Douglas. And DDP's like, you know, no matter who's in the ring with you, they're going to feel the bang. Um, and ADB. So not too bad, you know. Nothing out of, like, nothing out of the world yet tonight, but still solid stuff. Uh, then we have another Goldberg Hype video. Future of his careers will be announced at Halloween Havoc, 84B+. And then basically we have a quick, like, two-minute thing where Storm leaves Bischoff office. He looks upset, 75B-. Uh, then we have a match where Macias pins Lex Luger in 440 by pin with a Crucifix Powerbomb. And you notice, like, no interference or nothing, just Macias wins clean because Luger's on his way down and Macias is Macias. Um, so 60C. And then basically after the match we have a Deadpool beatdown. Uh, Sting doesn't eventually make the save. Then Bischoff comes out and says, Okay, I want an actual finish tonight in the US for the US title match. So all of you, you're all gone. Get out of here. You're, you're banned for, you know, go back to your hotel, go back to whatever cave you guys live in, referring to the Deadpool, and just get out of here. Uh, 71 B minus. So again, not too bad. Uh, then we have, have a quick promo with the AMW. They basically kind of promote the Road Warriors. They're old. They're broken down. As we know, they're, they're they're addicted to certain things. And there's no reason they should be on TV in 2002. This is 21st century. We should talk about the future. And the future is America's most wanted. 50D plus because AMW aren't that over yet. Uh, then basically O'Hare leaves Bischoff's office. Next up, 77B. Again, another quick thing. Uh, then we have Shane Helms going over Fit Fitly, 714 with a super, super kick, 75B minus. Again, really solid match. And just so you know, as a follow up, Helm did resign with me, so I'm going to be paying him a lot of money for the next couple of years. So I'm going to be pushing him quite strongly. And then we have Hel a Helms and Friends beatdown, where on uh, Finley afterwards, where Air Raid tries to save, but it basically fails and they get beat down too, 71B minus. Uh, then we have Stacy Keebler, who is Chuck Palumbo's manager, uh, leaving Bischoff's office, and her shirt is untied. Hmm, interesting. 74B-. Uh, then we come back from commercial, where a theft fix is getting promo Lexi James, saying, you know, Lexi, I have, you know, I, you know, I, I have some respect for you, because, like, you, you know, we're, you're not trying to be a diva, you're not trying to be a bikini model, you're trying to be a wrestler, but, you know, you act like you're the top of the mountain well the truth is you know i'm the wcw world champion i've got the fans behind me and at havoc you know does it matter what you try to do i'm gonna walk out of here because i'm gonna rise like the phoenix 
45D. Not bad. Uh, then basically Bearshop comes out, says, you know, after a lot of strong arguments, and he smiles, you know, because he's still a scumbag, even though he's kind of a quasi baby face, he says, the best argument came from this man's very insistent manager. So welcome your opponent, Vampiro, Chuck Palumbo, 81B. So not too bad. Then we have an actual match where uh, Palumbo beats Vampiro by 950 by pinfall after interference from Broadway and DM. Because if you notice, in the brawl previous, RVD didn't come out to actually interfere. So he was able to come out, hit basically the Van Daminator on uh, P Vampiro. Palumbo hits his finisher, and we have a new US champion. Um, so 76B minus. So actually a pretty solid match, all things considered. And then immediately afterwards, all the baby face celebrated real quick. That's 70C plus. Not too bad. And then we have a Four Horsemen in ring promo, uh, including Jaron Douglas talk about, you know, they're just tired of dealing with punks. You know, they need a real team to take on. Um, and then, you know, Flair cuts, you know, you know, does this typical woo Flair promo, but then sends another shot at Steiner. You know, says, you know, Steiner's, you know, Steiner's, you know, can't even be a real man in the sack anymore because of what he's been doing. You know, and he, you know, DP don't, you know, don't worry, I know Kim's not your wife anymore, but, you know, she's probably calling me because that's a Ric Flair thing to do. So 86B plus, and then in our main event, uh, we've got, you know, basically Ray Jr., Ox Wright, and DP defeating the four horsemen of Flair, Jaron Douglas in 1254. When Ray Jr. pinned Jeff Jarrett by pinfall, the springboard her Karana. So basically just like this, you know, Dolls Vols into a six-man brawl. Ray Jr. gets a pin on the one half of the tag champs. Everybody's happy. And then the show ends with a Steiner coming out the brawl with Flair. And then DDP gets involved. They push off each other and all of the three-way brawl to the back. That gets a 99A star. And the show ends well. So it's an 87B+. Plus because I'm just going to have good shows out of nowhere all the time. So yeah, basically, you know... Um, I didn't have Booker and Kane on the show because, like, basically there's other stuff to build up, and that's sort of been built up, I don't want to say decently well, but, you know, pretty decently. And yay, Sting resigned. I'm paying for four years, and I'm paying 20% event, and yeah, I'm paying a bonus of 32000 so yeah, that's sure a thing. Um... Then we have a quick raw This gets an 89A because it... Okay, Angle and Guru have a random 99 because of course they do. Uh, Benoit defeats Lesnar. That's interesting. Big Show goes over Crash Holly. That was probably a squash. But anyway, um, I mean, we're getting decently up there in the ratings. You know, we're up to 1248. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's all for now. We're still on the road to Halloween Havoc. Um, so if you're, you know, enjoying this stuff, go ahead and give it a like. Comment on what you're enjoying or not enjoying, you know, any questions you got, and subscribe to the channel for more. I'll see you later. Adios. Have a good one.